that heat wave will have air conditioners working overtime next week, and that could have a big impact on your energy bill. CBS News Detroit's Terrell Bailey has some tips for keeping cool and also keeping the cost down. High levels of heat will be throughout the region all next week. DTE is already getting prepared for potential power outages, but they say there are a few things you can do to not only keep yourself cool, but your home as well. I mean, it's hot. I don't have uh, I don't have central air in my in my place, so definitely thinking about you know ways ways to keep cool where I can spend my time. And for residents like Samir, next week's sweltering heat is of concern as temperatures exceed 90 degrees. DTE says the metro area will be consuming a lot of energy. The shades and the blinds, especially on the south side of the house, they're going to be heating the house up with the sun coming in, um, and your air conditioner is going to have to work more. Um, running appliances that create heat, especially in the evening while that, uh, that air conditioner is at that peak, uh, such as uh, your dishwasher or maybe your clothes dryer. DTE is prepping their crews already. They advise the metro area to cool your home down before the heat of the day. They add, make sure your AC unit is free of debris like leaves or trash. And of course, your air filter in your furnace, if you can run the air through that more efficiently, it makes your furnace not have to work as hard as well. We're told cooling your home to about 75 degrees before 3 p.m. can make all the difference. Once the humidity is out, DTE says the thermostat can be increased to help your energy bill stay down. As the heat wave is upon us, it'll be a constant battle for some. You know, you can open the windows, but then it's humid inside your house and, you know, there's only so much you can do. So uh, maybe at that, that point, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe I'm spending a little more time in the office. According to DTE, keep the windows closed when trying to avoid high levels of humidity. They also say you should run your fans only when someone is in the room. The less energy consumed, the less impact it'll have on your bill. There's potentially outages that could occur because of the heat. Uh, sometimes equipment, there's from, sometimes there's failures because of that. As a reminder, DTE's peak energy rates have kicked in. That's from 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. Now it's recommended that you cool your home beforehand in an effort to keep your energy rates down. Terrell Bailey, CBS News, Detroit.